Hello, welcome to Flip. So today we are on group 7, also known as halogens. Uh, and we know that halogens are very reactive nonmetals. They exist as diatomic molecule with weak intermolecular forces. So this is an example of group 7 halogen. This is a chlorine molecule. This is Cl2. Okay, you can see that it's bonded to another Cl2 molecule via intermolecular forces. Okay, these are very weak bonds. And hence, when you melt them, okay, or when you boil them, you are breaking this bond. And hence, it has low melting and boiling point because it's easy to break the intermolecular forces. But if we are talking about the intramolecular forces, okay, then it's very hard to break. This one will require very, very high temperature to break. But in the case of melting point and boiling point, we are just breaking the intermolecular forces and that's very easy to break. And hence, it results in them having low melting point and boiling point. Okay, next one is talking about the trend. The trend for group 7 is that, number 1, the color gets darker down the group. Okay, remember DTG means down the group. And secondly, the state changes from gas to solid down the group. So let's look at this one. For example, fluorine, okay, it's a pale yellow gas. Chlorine is a yellowish green gas. Uh, bromine is a reddish brown liquid. And iodine and astatine are both black solids. Okay, so you can see that in terms of color, it gets darker. Okay, I cannot um, draw in black because you cannot see the uh, color, so I just wrote it in white. But you can imagine that it, um, from fluorine to astatine, it becomes darker. And from fluorine to astatine, okay, it changes from gas to solid phase. Okay, that's what we mean by the trend. Okay, every group has its own trend. And in the case of halogen, you have to know in terms of color and the state. Okay, let's move on to the second part of a halogen, which is displacement reactions of halogens. So you have to understand that uh, reactivity of halogens decrease down the group, okay, from chlorine all the way to, sorry, this is chlorine, from fluorine all the way to astatine, okay? So fluorine is more reactive than chlorine, which is in turn more reactive than bromine, which is more reactive, uh, which is in turn more reactive than iodine and in turn more reactive than astatine. Okay, so fluorine is the most reactive, astatine is the least reactive. Okay, so it decreases down the group. And the more reactive halogen can displace the less reactive halogen. What do I mean? For example, if you look at chlorine, okay, chlorine is uh, ranked higher than bromine, iodine, and astatine. Okay, so it can replace uh, bromine, iodine, and astatine. If we were to look at uh, fluorine, for example, okay, it's higher rank than uh, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine. So you can replace the four of them as well. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the example. Okay, so in the case of chlorine here, okay, uh, and this is a bromide ion. Okay, this is Br minus. Okay, you can see that chlorine, okay, ranks higher than bromine. Okay, it's more reactive than bromine. So it's able to kick him out and take his place. Okay, let me just draw for you. This is chlorine. It becomes a chloride ion here, whereas this bromide ion gets kicked out as a bromine molecule. Okay, so you can see that the person that comes in, okay, the kicker, okay, in the sense, it has to be a, a diatomic molecule. It has to be a halogen a molecule, which is a suffix 2 here. And the one that is being kicked is only one molecule, okay, one uh, ion. And when it gets kicked out, it becomes two again. So it just swap places. You can see, okay, yellow becomes uh Cl two becomes Cl, Br becomes Br two. Okay, that's what we mean by uh kicking him out. Okay, that's displacing him. Let's take a look at uh an example. You tell me whether it it works or not. So in the case of uh bromine, okay, Br two, okay, this is not an ion. This is bromine molecule. It wants to now replace chlorine. Can it be done? Okay, let's look at the reactivity uh table. Uh, it cannot be done because bromine is ranked lower than chlorine. Am I right? So bromine cannot kick out cl uh, the chloride ion in NaCl. And hence, no reaction happens. Okay? And this is what we mean by uh, displacement reactions in halogens. Okay? The more reactive uh, can kick out the less reactive. And the more reactive has to be in the form of a uh, molecule, diatomic molecule, and the less reactive to be kicked out has to be in terms of an ion, okay, that uh, is ready to leave the uh, the
cation here. Okay, and gets replaced by the incoming molecule, which will in turn become the anion. Okay, and that is all for uh, group 7 halogens.